Hi, this is Madison, and I'll be showing you how to jazz up your icons on your desktop or laptop with the most recent update, Mac OS 12 Monterey. It just got a lot easier to customize icons for your Mac. Most useful of all is adding a custom icon for your most used and most important folders. I'll be focusing on how to change your folders. However, you could also repeat the same process to switch up your app icons and document icons. The first step is where to even start. For any folder you wanna change, you first want to get info. Get info is a useful way to quickly access various information about a folder, file, or app. It has data like file size, date created, as well as other special data, including the icon. This could be done by either the old school way of right clicking and choosing get info or the keyboard shortcut command I. This is what I'll be using from this point forward. Once you select the file command I, the info window will pop up and you'll see various data. And in the upper left, there's a small box with the default icon, which for folders is a folder. There's also a preview of the icon below, slightly larger, which will reflect any changes we make with the small one up above. The beauty of this tip is that you could choose any photo as the source of your icon. A great idea is to use something that relates to the content of the folder and will help you quickly identify it when searching through a bunch of folders on your desktop or nested inside another folder. Warning, if you choose a photo that looks like, well, a photo, your eye and brain might get tricked into thinking that the folder with the new custom icon is actually an image file. To avoid this, choose a square image that either an icon already, like a logo, or one that will definitely associate with the folder content. So it's a great idea to pick something eye-catching, but logical. Once you have an image, again, there are a few ways this could be done. Images saved on your desktop can be opened by either right-clicking to open image to preview. I'll double-click, which will default into preview. Once open, click within the image, a selection tool will appear, drag along with the image to make a square shape. When you have your desired size, you want to copy Command C and paste Command V into the small folder in the upper left. Or you could drag your photo to the top until you see a green plus sign and then let go. Next is the screenshot method. Find an image that could be online. Next, activate the screenshot selection tool by using Command Shift 4. Once you have the image on your screen, you size it to how you want. When you release the screenshot, it will be created and sent to the desktop. Next, you can either open in preview, copy and paste into the folder, or simply drag. Nothing is set in stone, so if you decide you don't like the image, or want to swap out something new, or simply want to revert to the original, navigate back to the folder that Get Info, Command I, click the folder on the top right, once it's selected, press delete and your image is removed. Voila! Be sure to check out all my other quick and easy videos and iOS 15 feature videos. Like and subscribe to the Linksonic channel. Thank you. Until next time. Bye.